finally found a broker on Wall Street that you can trust and who can consistently make you money. Sound fair enough? You know, yeah, you're, I guess I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> what do you, I don't know, what do you, what do you think? Kevin, you give me one shot here on a blue chip stock like Kodak. And believe me, Kevin, the only problem <laughs> you're gonna have is that you didn't buy more. Sound fair enough? Shit, my <laughs> Is this Wall Street bets? Uh, <laughs> my wife might divorce me, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent choice. Terrible, terrible, terrible. This? Did you get screwed with Wall Street bets yet? We're going to go over that today and how to not get, be the victim of a pump and dump. So I learned, I watched this movie back in the day, Wolf of Wall Street. It's about Jordan Belfort. And uh, basically he was the one that moves about. And this, he basically would um, pump up the stocks, get them to sell it, and they're worthless stocks. So basically you're going to be, they're going to be worthless in the future. <clears throat> but the people... That don't know anything about trading stuff they're all into it but you know but but they will hold on for dear life but usually they're gonna go down the drain so that's what we're gonna talk about today this is Finley base the world will run on crypto but anyways the last Wall Street bets that was a great thing I wish I, well, I didn't get on it at all because it was too late by the time I heard about it. But basically, they're pumping up the stocks. So, um, but I learned about this on Timothy Sykes. Timothy Sykes. Oh, my God. I can't pronounce it. So, he was the one. He put $12,000 of his bar of money back in the day. And he growed it to 1.6 million. And I think he's up to 6 million now or more. Who knows? But I studied him back in the day right after, um, after I watched Wall Street of Bets. And a couple of years later, I was like, I want to study this. Was so basically, he goes in and whatever's popular that day, he will sort them. So basically, they had a big problem with somebody who got shot and... Uh, riots and stuff like that and then the cameras on the people's the uh, police officers were starting to get popular so the company he was going after at that time that stock went and play like four dollars like 16 18 dollars something like that and what he does is he sorts it and when you're sorting stuff you make money on the prices going down but, and that's a great thing, especially if we're talking about pump and dumps or day trading or anything like that, when this just goes off the of news and it, it basically gets pumped up that day or that month or the year, and you never know how it's going to last. So they were starting to do on this body cam thing, they were getting real popular and they started making the cop have them. And required to have them and stuff like that. So the stock price went up like, you know, $4 or $60 or something like that. I don't know what it's at now. It was like 2015 or whatever. But anyways, he sorts it. And they make a lot of money doing shorts. But, you know, I studied it for a year. If you want to short stocks, you got to have some money to back it. And the problem with shorting stocks, if I, let's say I put... Ten dollars, ten thousand dollars into a stock. Then, if the stock goes to zero, I lost ten thousand dollars. But on sorting stocks, if you put, you sort it, and it goes up, it could go up forever. You could in, basically lose all your money and go in debt. So, maybe that ten thousand bars, it get called twenty thousand, ninety thousand dollars. Who knows? Whatever you have it set to. So you're gonna go broke if you gotta have the capital to do stuff like that 
Uh, so I haven't really got into that yet. So, so I was like, I'm staying away from that. So now Wall Street Bets comes around. They did hold it, and they've got it up there pretty high. But it's a, it has to be like a lot of people doing that. And it's hard to get that many people to do that. And it's illegal, kind of. But anyway, it's the pump and dump. So they're just going up like this. And it, when they're up here, they start shortening it. It goes back down. And everybody uses their money. So but they had the hops, so they keep going because the news is popular. Then they pump it all the way back down. It goes back down. You know, these people, I've heard, these people made a lot of money. But like I said, this is a group effort. It's just, it's just the way it is. You know, what, people up here that bought in are losing their money because it's going to go back down. So you got to be well versed to deal with that. But basically, you just got to go off of news and stuff like that. Um, a trade trading is kind of stressful and stuff, so I don't like doing trade day trading. I like to hold for long term, and then when I just trade on the news, and hopefully I made the right decision on the news and make some money and get back into my long term holdings. All my trading views got changed to the same thing. What is going on? Oh, did you get wrecked? Don't get fucking wrecked. Do not get wrecked. And it happens. It happens all the time. But we're trying to learn and know what to do next time. That's always the th always got to learn. The more you learn, the more dangerous you'll be. The more you'll be able to lose even more money. I mean, gain money. Just depends. Alright, so here we go. So this is the XRP chart. You know, after Wall Street bets, somebody claimed, or they had good news come out for XRP. And it was a, they're in a lawsuit right now, and I'm not a heavy investor in XRP, so. But with that lawsuit coming out, uh, a good reply to the lawsuit, everybody got a kind of got it sided and put their money in. Also, Wall Street bets happen at the same time, and they're all getting all crazy with Wall Street bets. Going to be like them. Some people are pumping it up. Who knows what's going on? But so, but I have XRP holdings, so I bought it in down here 27 cents range, 32 cents range. I bought all over the place, and I've been investing it for two years. So, but the the deal is, it's not just Wall Street bets. You know, the last two years, there's always something happening that makes it spike up real high. And we all wanted to go to the moon, and and a lot of they just won't go to the moon right now because you got to follow the news, really follow the news. I listen to news all day, every day, at least two or three hours a day. I really don't listen to music anymore. I used to be all in music, but I haven't listened to music in two or three years because I listen to crypto news and about XRP, about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all those. This happened a lot with XRP. It's usually around 26, 32 cents, something like that. This pump happened for XRP. 20, November 24th, 20, and it was up to 80 cents, something like that. This is the resistance, I guess, for this. So, this time, we all thought it would go up to 80 cents, but it didn't with the 75 cents. And right then, it goes back down. And this happens over and over again. So, not over again like daily, but over the years. And it, sometimes it goes past it. It went to three dollars and eighty cents back in the day. But with on the news, this was pumping pretty hard. It might have went to three dollars and eighty cents. But then the SEC filed a lawsuit. They went down to twenty six cents. I think it was right right here. Whenever they lawsuit it was twenty. I think it was right here. Is when they called it. it went down like this. So. 
if you heard that news two days afterwards and you look at your price you already lost a lot of money so on that news I just got out immediately and I hope to God that I made the right choice and it went down I bought back in at 26 cents here the same deal I was I was gonna go and sell it all 80 cents but it didn't go to 80 cents and so it's they started dropping down so I got out like 60 and then I got out again at you know 40, 43 and I'm waiting to buy back in at 26 cents and the reason I don't know it's going to go up any right now because they're in a lawsuit and they may be declare XRP a security and that's a whole nother video but um, either way I'm invested in this and and I believe in the project there's a lot of uh, businesses that are working with them and build large companies all over the world to use XRP to do cross-border payments and stuff like that so I do want to hold it but right now it was just pumping off of a little bit of news dogecoin it was well it it come out the another Wall Street bets everybody thought Wall Street bets were pumping I don't know I'm not into pumping stuff but I'm just telling you the information that I have gotten throughout the years of studying it penny stocks if you don't know about penny stocks when I trade those it goes up down fast if you put a like a couple thousand dollars in there one penny is like eight hundred dollars one penny down it's eight hundred dollars loss so you know a lot of people put a lot of money in dogecoin and lost a lot of money and a lot of people gain a lot of money you know I just take some profits for a couple cents and just cash out a couple cents and then after that it goes back down the difference between Wall Street bets and pump groups or good news or Elon Musk saying dogecoin or putting a Bitcoin in his title I mean I, that is probably pumping too he probably says he just does it for folk he probably <clears throat> I don't know if he's doing it or not but he probably <laughs> if he did get caught he could probably get sued but anyways you could put a lot of money in and say dodge coin and cash it out and make that money because I don't care whether you think what's good or not this is called a stock market and no matter what you think, the stock market is shorting, the stock market is going up. You can't control it. The people are there to take money. And that's the way it is. So you got to play the game. So yes, more than likely, if I held Bitcoin, or I mean Dogecoin, went to a dollar, I could have made a hell of a lot of money. But the likelihood of that happening just because of Elon Musk tweeting about it and stuff it's not going to go up that high most likely don't lose money I watch the news every day so the reason I say that because when the news happens you have very little time to react to it if you react to it two days later it's already too late so I'm going to post my trades I think from now on I don't trade very often and when I do I'm gonna post it up there what I'm doing I don't recommend you do anything that I'm saying because I'm not a financial advisor but I've been studying stock for three or four or five years I'm just getting into it I was long-term holder I just started trading a little bit on news and stuff and not because of pumping chance but I mean Elon Musk, like I said, you follow him on, on Twitter. If he tests Dogecoin, <laughs> you might buy some Dogecoin when it goes up a couple cents. Um, I'm not really pump and dump. I just trade on the news, so the market. And it will eat your ass. So y'all have a good day. Y'all so like, subscribe. That'd be great. And y'all just have a good day. Thank you.
Bye.